Hey guys, it's a little noisy in here today because my office is uh, the laundromat. Because I'm bougie like that. Anyway, I just wanted to um, come on here and give you a tip. If you're a full-time RVer and you're going to take a break for a little while, or if you're a part-time RVer, but even better, um, and you're away from your rig for a little while, maybe you stored it for winter. Ours was in storage for three months. I, um, we were in the process of buying a house during that time, so, and we were living in our parents' driveway in the RV, so that's hectic. We had a lot going on, my husband was working, I was packing up the RV by myself with the kids, but still um, wasn't really getting a lot of help from him because he was working full time and I wasn't, and so it just made sense for me to do it. Anyway, my tip is if you're gonna store it and you're gonna leave things in it, then make a list of all the things that you left in your rig. Just make a master list. Um, we were, like I said, it was three months uh, without traveling for us. And that meant that I thought I knew what was in the rig, um, but I was wrong about a lot of things because now that we're traveling again, I didn't realize that we didn't have a crock pot and we didn't have a toaster. And I had two pillows and there are four of us. And I had um, only wool blankets. And now it is um, April and we're in the deep south. So that's not a good combination either. So I've had to buy a crock pot, a toaster, lightweight blankets. Um, and I, I just, I thought I remembered what was here and I was wrong about a lot of things. So if you're gonna put it in storage for a while or this is the time of year when people are starting to get their RVs back out that are not full timers and it's like camping season again. So my suggestion is get in your RV, make a list of everything that you have for example, we didn't have a slotted spoon. We had regular spoons, but we didn't have any slotted spoons. We use that a lot when we cook, you know. So I would just an itemized list of, you know, one can of butter, one whisk, one muffin tin, you know, that kind of thing. Of just each room, what you have in there, what you have stored. And then when you store your RV again, if it's not in your backyard and you're not keeping it there, if it's at a storage facility or gets parked at um, a campground for the season or something like that, take your list home with you and then you'll know what you need and what you don't need to bring with you. So, little tip. Hope you guys are having a great day. Remember to check out my blog, underanelmtree.com, www.underanelmtree.com. I'm way more active in blogging than I am in the YouTube world. I'm better at it. <laughs> check it out there.